Five months after Russia invaded Ukraine, the White House says Moscow is now laying the groundwork to annex another large portion of that country. NBC's chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, has been covering the war from the very beginning. He's here with us in the studio right now. So, Richard, what more can you tell us about, about that part of the story? Well, it's a very significant development, or potential development. It shows what Russia's intentions are, that this is not just a war to destroy Ukraine, to topple its government. It's a war to colonize the country, to take over Ukraine. And Russia's been fighting on Ukrainian territory and has occupied a large piece of Ukraine, about maybe 20 to 30 percent of the country. And now Russia's saying it wants to hold that territory mm. forever and it has a, a significant battlefield implication, too. It means that when Ukrainian troops attack that territory, after Russia says that the pieces that it holds are forever going to be part mm. of Russia, it will be like attacking Moscow. Uh, it mm. will be like attacking the uh, St. Petersburg. Yeah. Mm. So it, it is a, from, from Russia's point of view, it is far more than symbolic. It's a land grab. Yeah, Ukraine's first lady came to D.C. She met with First Lady Jill Biden. They're they had a conversation. out all the stops. They really are. And she's going to address Congress, the First Lady of Ukraine. What are you expecting from that? I'm expecting an appeal. Don't forget about yeah. us. Uh, you know, in, in Ukraine, men still can't leave the country. This is, they are in a state of emergency. They are in a state of military readiness. Top officials can leave, and some have, not very often, though, when they've engaged in diplomacy. But Zelensky, since the war began, has not left the country. He's addressed world leaders, almost every country by now, making appeals virtually. And he doesn't, the guy it's practically doesn't sleep mm -hmm. because he's making so many appeals. But they're very worried that the world is moving on from them, that they're focused on inflation or yeah. domestic issues in this country. So she is going, making this personal appeal. Mm -hmm. We need help. They need, they could be saying that they need help, they need money, they need support, they need sure. the sanctions going. And there's no substitute for doing it in person. Yeah. Well, Richard Engel, uh, thank you. And we're happy that you're in person. Yes. And to yes. be here. It's really Thanks good for to everything see you, you do, thank man. You, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.